four one. All right, I think we have enough time to do uh, masterpiece police report theater. Do we have the music? So we go back to Friday's show. We found out about the chief of staff for city councilman Paul Cunningham, Katie Bolger. We have supplemental notes to the initial report. This is Masterpiece Police Report Theater. On March 22nd, I overheard the officer ask for immediate assistance over the F5 frequency. I could tell from his voice inflection that he was involved in a stressful event. I responded to his location from the downtown area. Upon arrival, officers were placing Miss Bolger, again, Chief of Staff for City Councilman Paul Cunningham, into handcuffs. She was yelling at the officers as I walked up to them. I noticed that she apparently had been heavily intoxicated and was visibly angry towards the officers. She was slurring her speech and stumbling while standing up in handcuffs. I directed officers to have her sit on the curb. I asked the officer to debrief me as he stated he drove his heavy duty truck westbound on Speedway in the inside lane, had to slam on his brakes and deploy an evasive maneuver into the curb lane to avoid striking a pedestrian. If it stops, just start it over who was jaywalking from south to north across Speedway. The officer stopped his truck, identified himself as a police officer as he was in a TPD polo shirt after returning from a call out. Miss Katie Bolger was very noncompliant, refusing to obey his commands to stop as she continued walking northbound from him. This is when he requested assistance. I was able to be briefed by the officer. I could hear Miss Bolger state loudly, do you know who I am? That's oh, sorry, I said that wrong, didn't I? Do oh, you know who I am? I'm Councilmember Cunningham's chief of staff. <laughs> it takes four police officers to stop a jaywalker. No wonder you guys don't respond to burglaries. This is why you need more cops for a woo. Jaywalker? I made contact with her, tried to calm her down. I told her that she was going to be issued a citation for obstructing a roadway and she would not be able to leave on her own because of her intoxication level. I offered to give her a ride home since we were close to her re residence. She refused the ride stating, undo my Wrong. In handcuffs. This is really not good for you that I'm in handcuffs. She also stated, no, take me to jail. I want to make a point. I asked her where she had been drinking, and she stated 4th Avenue. But I'm not driving, so let me ing a ticket. She repeated many of these same comments throughout my contact with her. Arrangements were made to have a friend of hers respond to the location and give her a ride home. Once her friend... Ted Prozelski arrived. She repeatedly yelled at Mr. Prozelski to turn on his cell phone and record the contact. I told her she needed to sign the citation or she was going to be booked into jail. She kept telling Mr. Prozelski to record the contact. And even after he reluctantly complied with her direction to turn his camera phone on, once the handcuffs were taken off of her, I tried to convince her to walk over to the police car to sign the citation. When Mr. Prozelski tried to coax her to the police car, Miss Bolger physically grabbed his left arm in an aggressive manner, stating, you work for me, record this. Wow. At this point, I made the decision that she was going to be transported to jail because of her repeated refusal to sign the citation and for her safety of her and Mr. Prozelski, I directed officers to re-handcuff her and place her into the patrol vehicle. Thus concludes Masterpiece Police Report Theater. <laughs>